first day of my menstrual cycle is the worst. I believe really, really heavily. I sometimes have to go to the ER because the pain gets so bad. I start screaming, excruciating pain. It feels like I'm being stabbed over and over and over again. It has been about seven years going through all of this. When I was 13, I got my first period. In the beginning, my period wasn't normal. She was having strange headaches, stomach issues, the severe cramping before my period, and I started getting it twice a month. First doctor put me on birth control because they thought that would regulate it. They put me on antidepressants, anti-anxiety medication, antibiotic because I get infections. I can't tell you how many times we went to different doctors. The doctor confirmed that I had endometriosis at 17 years old. My case is very severe. Over the past two and a half years, it started to turn into everyday pain. I feel really bad back pain, and I feel like my period is coming pretty soon. This happens almost every month. I can't even hold a job because of it. My relationships have definitely suffered. Julia was always healthy the cheerleader. We have gone to doctor after doctor after doctor, and we've just gotten denial after denial. Why can't somebody help my kid? Julia joins us with her mother, Michelle, and first off, I'm sorry you've been suffering so much from this, and I'm glad you're here to talk about it because, Dr. Ashton, I really I want to kick things off with you explaining what is often misunderstood a lot of people don't really even know what endometriosis means. Yeah, so a couple of things. Number one, we don't know what causes endometriosis, but the definition of what the condition is, is glands, endometrial glands from the inside of the uterus that migrate not down and out of the body like they should every month, but actually back up and into the pelvis and abdominal cavity, and they can implant on your bowel, on your bladder, up on your diaphragm, in rare cases up through your diaphragm to your lungs, and that is hormonally active tissue, which means that every month when the uterus contracts and most women get a cramp, all of those little implants are contracting as well, causing pain. Now, I want to also address a couple of things that we saw in that tape piece. Endometriosis has nothing to do with heavy menstrual bleeding. So that's kind of two problems or issues that you have, um, but unrelated. And number two, amongst teenagers who have intractable pain with their periods, the gold standard is to one, put them on a low dose birth control pill, and two, add a class of medication called non-steroidals, which is like ibuprofen. If the pain is not controlled with those two therapies, half of teenagers will have endometriosis. And classically, that's a diagnosis we only make with surgery. We have to see it, we have to biopsy those implants, and we have to have a pathologist confirm that yes, that is endometrial tissue. Is that why so many people end up suffering not really knowing what's going on? It is, but the good news is there are a lot of treatment options available. Dr. Tamara Sedgkin is one of the leading doctors when it comes to this. He performs deep tissue extraction surgery to help with endometriosis symptoms. And uh, check this out, he has a message for you. Hi, Julia. This is Dr. Sechkin from New York. I am pleased to inform you that I will be performing your surgery at no cost to you. I'm excited that you will remove all endometriosis tissue by the method of excision with laparoscopic procedure. I think you deserve your quality of life back pain-free, and you should expect a call from my office soon. <laughs> yeah, he's well, going to take good care of And we have to thank Dr. Yes. Sechkin for that. And you've been dealing with a lot of emotional pain, too, because of all the physical pain. So uh, we're going to set you up with some help in that regard. We're getting you six counseling sessions with Angela Boyd at Crane & Smith in your hometown to help you deal with all these issues because it's not just one thing. And our hope is that, you know what, this is all going to get to a point where not only is it manageable, but you have your life back and you can smile each and every day and enjoy life.